Welcome to the Pollywood campus. For over 30 years, Pollywood has been building high quality outdoor furniture right here in Syracuse, Indiana. On today's tour, I'm going to show you how we take post-consumer plastic trash and turn it into beautiful, long-lasting Pollywood furniture. Let's get started. I'm standing outside of Pollywood's recycling line. This is where it all starts. We take plastic that would otherwise find its way into the ocean or a landfill and turn it into beautiful Pollywood furniture. We recycle hundreds of thousands of post-consumer plastic containers a day in the process of making our genuine Pollywood lumber. Let's head inside and see how it's done. The plastic comes to us in the form of these giant bales full of a different variety of containers. Each bale accounts for about 10,000 different single-use plastic containers that are broken down and then sent up the conveyor belt to the shredder. The shredder has two primary functions. First, to break down the plastic into a more manageable size, and second, to separate out any foreign materials. This shredded material is then washed. During this process, the shredded HDPE plastic is separated from any other materials. Paper and labels will float to the top while the plastic sinks to the bottom. This plastic is then ground down to a quarter inch flake, dried, and air separated to remove any additional foreign materials. The finished flakes are then melted down and filtered through a 180 micron screen to remove any remaining impurities. The molten plastic is made into pellets and then transported to the next step in the process via an automated vacuum system. After the recycled pellets are formed, they're sent over to these silos where they're stored until they're needed for the next step in the process, our Pollywood lumber extrusion line. Let's go inside and take a look. A series of vacuum tubes are then used to pull the material down from the silos and send it out to our numerous extrusion lines. Colorants, UV stabilizers, and foaming agents are then added to the pellets. The mix is funneled down to the heater, where it is all melted together. The molten plastic is forced through a die, giving shape to one single piece of genuine Pollywood lumber that stretches the entire length of the extrusion line. This unbroken board is then sent through a series of cooling tanks that help bring it to a solid state. The pulling machine pulls the finished board to an automated saw that cuts the new lumber to a usable size. The finished product is this cut Hollywood board. It's then going to be sent down to production assembly to be made into furniture. Finally, we come to production assembly. This is where it all comes together. The material comes into this plant as raw lumber and leaves as finished furniture. Lumber from the extrusion process is brought into the back of the building where it's stored until it's needed to fulfill an order. Lumber is then loaded onto a computer pneumatic control or CNC machine where it will be cut into the various shapes needed to make our Pollywood furniture. The scrap cutouts and shavings made by the CNC machine are never wasted. Because HDPE plastic is infinitely recyclable, what would otherwise be waste can be made into new Pollywood furniture. 99% of our production waste is recycled within our own process. After the pieces are cut out, they're assembled by our production team with the aid of a variety of internally designed fixtures. This ensures quality, speed, and repeatability. After that, the finished product is packaged using custom in-house made boxes. This helps us keep inventory low while also allowing us to make custom sizes. Boxes are then sealed, labeled, and handed off to our shipping team. Once orders are completed and boxed up, they're placed onto pallets, loaded onto trucks, and shipped out to our customers all around the world. In addition to producing furniture made exclusively from genuine Pollywood lumber, we also cut and sew our own cushions, pillows, and sling items right here on site. In order to ensure that our fabric items meet the same strict standards of quality and durability as the rest of our furniture, We've partnered with the leading outdoor fabric manufacturers in the industry. Some furniture that Pollywood offers incorporates aluminum frames. These frames are cut, welded, sanded, and powder coated right here at Pollywood. Now that you've seen how Pollywood furniture is made, let's go back even further and take a look at all the work that has to be done before the production process even starts. Welcome to the Pollywood Design Center. This is where new furniture designs are imagined, developed, and tested before they're made available for our customers. Our product designers create new furniture concepts and then work with our engineering team to integrate them into our manufacturing process. Prototypes are cut out and assembled in an area that replicates an actual production cell, using the same equipment. 
We run new product prototypes through a series of rigorous tests to make sure they meet Pollywood's high standards for quality and durability. Some of these tests include weight standards, limited cycle or motion testing, UV resistance, sun simulation, salt spray tolerance, and even real-world environmental exposure. In order to ensure that we're providing the most durable, long-lasting product possible to our customers, we go above and beyond industry standards with our in-house testing process. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of the Pollywood campus. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the process of how a milk jug gets turned into all of this beautiful outdoor furniture. Just a friendly reminder from the Pollywood team, always remember before you recycle, please rinse out your milk jugs. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks and hope to see you again soon.